if you're anywhere near as old as me, you may remember a car made back in the 50s and 60s called the Rambler. I think it was made by American Motors or whatever they were called back then. So if I had to describe myself in these videos, I would have to describe me as a Rambler. So, or I could be called the Black Walnut. If you've ever dealt with a Black wal Walnut and cracked it open and tried to get the meat out of it, uh, it was challenging. Although there's no uh, comparison to black walnut black walnut for flavor anyway see rambling rambling, rambling, rambling. well <clears throat> the market um, is performing very well for me um and it went way up today so a lot of the speculators and people are in it hoping to get capital gains they did pretty well today assuming they get out in time but I want to talk about the thing. The thing. I create a thing that I sell. I create it from scratch. And all it requires is a little bit of working capital to get started. And after that, it's like almost like a perpetual motion machine. So I take this thing, I create it usually on Mondays, and I sell it before the day is out for what's called a premium. And the thing gets traded by the people that bought the thing. They sell the thing to somebody else, and somebody else buys the thing, and it may change hands dozens of times before the thing wears out on Friday. <clears throat> and then when it wears out on Fridays to follow Monday, I'm, I make more things and sell these things for a premium. And then they get traded back and forth, back and forth all week until they are no more on Friday evening. And then on Monday, I create some more things and sell those things. So if you haven't guessed um, so far, what I'm talking about are, are stock options. And these are actually are contracts. And I create and sell these contracts. Being the creator or writer of the contract, I'm the one that ultimately has to make good on the contract. So if I sell somebody a contract uh, for $8 puts on HBI stock uh, between Monday and Friday, uh, if they wish to exercise that at $8 a share, then I, they, I've guaranteed them that I will buy that stock at $8 a share, which is the case this week. I've got, I believe, 16 contracts. Um, so I'm obligated to buy 1,600 shares at $8 a share. So I do have to have the cash on hand to do that. Uh, but in exchange for that, I got 900 and something. Um, let's see what it actually was. Uh, Nine hundred fifteen dollars for sixteen hundred shares, or sixteen things. Each thing consists of a hundred shares of the underlying stock. So this one, I sold it on a, a Monday, which was the tenth, I believe, and uh, it will expire at the close of business on the fourteenth. And for that, I got $915 immediately upon the sale. So come Friday, if not before, the option will be either 
exercised or not. Now, as you can see right now, since the HBI stock closed at seven dollars and seventy seven cents today, then somebody will exercise this option and put this stock on me for eight dollars. In so doing, they will make um, so they make twenty three cents a share, but they paid me over fifty cents a share for the premium, or at least the person who originally bought it. Now, the person that originally bought it may have sold it in turn several times. Or one time, and that person may have sold it again and again and again. So the thing gets passed around. So the per person ultimately ends up with it. I don't know whether they're going to be making any money uh, at 23 cents or not. Although the cumulative holders of this um, when you consider the 55 cents premium paid, we're not going to make any money if it stays at uh, 777. But regardless uh, of, of that, um, then uh, the thing is that it's not so much what I paid for it or what I sold it for, rather it's my replacement cost. So what, what does it cost to build these things, these contracts? Well, it takes the capital and it takes materials, which is the stock. And the value or the cost of the stock is what it costs on the market. So if the stock goes down, that's the reason my cost to produce this thing goes down. If it goes up, my cost to produce these things uh, goes up. Um, but as long as it's within a reasonable range, I'm making money. Um, the, the, the prayer for those of us who make these things is... Um, Please, not too far, not too fast, referring to the price of the stock, market price. So I'm a thing maker. <laughs> I'm not an investor in the market. I don't invest. Um, I know some people like to buy stock and hope it's going to go up, you know, price speculation. Few people will buy it for the dividends paid. I mean, after all, HBI bought this price range is yielding nearly 5% uh, dividends. And that's, that's, that's good. Um, now, from time to time, I'm lucky enough to actually yeah. be holding the stock on the um, uh, day it's declared to be paid. That, that is, I'm a, the stockholder of record. But that's not my objective. When I get that, that's just a tip. <laughs> Unexpected surprise. Oh, ain't it great? So I'm a merchant and a builder. <laughs> I build these things and sell them. When they get so it's time for me to make more things the following Monday, I make these things and I sell them. So I have a steady stream of income coming in. Um, and over the course of the year, the income, the gross income uh, from this endeavor will more than equal my initial investment. Now, that's not 100% profit, but it's about 80% free cash flow. And uh, because of the treatment of um, capital gains and all the income is capital gains, except if I get the dividend, then that's ordinary income. But uh, capital gains uh, can wash one another out. Let's say, for example, I bought um, HBI at $10, sell it for nine, but replace it at eight. The original um, capital loss is washed out. 
so anyway, um, you know, accounting is um, always a snapshot. So when you look at uh, uh, an income statement or a balance sheet, that's for a particular period of time, generally a year, or it could be a quarter, whatever. But that really doesn't explain fully the value of the company as an ongoing concern to produce income. For that, you need to figure the free cash flow. Now, I'm not going to get into a long spiel about what free cash flow is. Look it up online. Um, there's been companies that have been around forever that make little or no net profit. <laughs> but they're expanding, they're doing well. So, somehow, well, the reason they're doing well is because of free cash flow, um, which enables them to continue and grow as a going, growing concern. Um, a company like Amazon would be a good example of that. For years, up until this new CEO, uh, they weren't really concerned about making a profit. They just wanted enough revenue to continue to grow, and they've done that. They're right on the verge of becoming the largest retailer in the world, surpassing Walmart. So there's something to all this. You know, this thing is <laughs> a pretty good thing. Uh, and the beauty part about it, is that it doesn't take long to do this thing. <laughs> Aside from the uh, my video channel and uh, my website, the actual time it takes to do my thing and sell it's probably about half hour to one hour a week. Well, that's a pretty good return um, <laughs> for that much. Now, do I have some risk? Certainly. We're all could come to an end. Um, but I pick a good stock, you know, like the thing I like about HBI is that Hain Brands International, we all got to have underwear. They have a good market share. They were formed in 1905. The balance sheet's healthy. They've been, been paying for years a steady dividend and seem, seem to be capable of doing that for years to come. It's not glamorous. <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, I'm not in it for the glamour. I'm not even in, in it to invest in uh, HBI. I just want to use HBI stock to cobble, cobble together my thing, which are options contracts. And as long as I can do that, I'll have a good steady income. And um, I have a lot of fun too. I enjoy it. Um, and I'm not a gambler. I don't like to lose. Um, I enjoy playing poker, but only only friendly games. I, I like my money too much to be a true gambler. Uh, so, but anyway, I just wanted to talk about my thing uh, on this particular uh, episode. Well, I hope you're doing your thing and enjoying it. So, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, notify, and like. Uh, I would appreciate it. Have a good evening.